Being able to forgive can be one of the hardest things many have to ever do in their life. Why is forgiving important for a healthy life? Well, joining us this morning to explain is Bob Birchfield, Program Manager for Behavioral Services over at Baptist Health. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, why is forgiveness so important? Well, because, you know, in life, people offend us, people wound us and get injured uh, by, by events and by different things. And so forgiveness, you know, uh, we were talking earlier, you know, every, every journey begins with the first step. Mm -hmm. And the journey of healing and getting past a, 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 an episode or an injury uh, begins with, with, with forgiveness. Yeah. How do we forgive? How's that process like and, and, and how does it all work? Well, you know, uh, a, lot of time, a lot of times people think that forgiveness is an emotion because there's a lot of emotions that, that, um, that kind of play into it. But you know what? Forgiveness is just a decision. You just decide to forgive. You just get your mind wrapped around it because, you know, forgiveness has everything to do with us. It has nothing to do with the person who injured us. Yeah. It has everything to do with us. And unforgiveness is, is that bitter poison that we drink and we think it's going to kill the other person. And, in fact, it doesn't. I mean, they're just going out living their lives, yeah. doing their thing. And so for us to, to, to forgive means that we, we decide we're going to be healed. We're not going to be stuck in this place. We're going to move beyond it. Yeah, it's a big step. It's for for sure, and you know, step. especially moving forward and, and wanting to heal yourself. But do you actually heal? I mean, do, do you forget about that injury? Well, so that, that's a good question because you know this healing process is a very long process, yeah. especially if the if the offense is really deep and and the wound is 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 uh, is very profound. It takes a long time to get past that. But forgiveness is one of those things that we decide. You know what? I'm not vulnerable. This isn't an act of vulnerability. I'm not reliving this episode. But what I'm doing, I'm taking care of myself. You know, yeah. there's a there's a there's a, a Bible scripture that talks about you know forgiving and forgetting. Um, I guess the alternative is to hate and remember. Mm -hmm. You know, so so you know what? I'm not going to hate. I'm not I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to forgive this offense. I'm going to uh, forgive the offender because I can do that. And then I'm not going to remember that anymore. I'm going to move past it. Yeah. And, and, you know, real quick, everyone is very different. Some people can forgive easily. They wait some time or they don't forgive at all. What can people do if they struggle with forgiveness? You know, forgiveness? Um, it's, a, it's, it's easier said than done, isn't it? And, right. Uh, and, you know, and I realize that there are people, it's, it's too close to the event. It's, it's too soon. Um, and if you're really struggling, um, get some help. You know, whether you talk to a pastor or a friend or a coworker, someone that you trust. But you know what? Sometimes you go beyond that. You know, in psychiatry, you know, we deal with people and there's these loose ends that just need to be tied up. And sometimes you have to go to that step. Um, just to protect yourself and, yeah. and, and, just to, and just to begin that healing Because process. sometimes talking out loud just makes it so much more better instead of having it bottled up inside, you know? Oh, absolutely. So, all absolutely. right. Bob, thank you so much for being here this morning on well, Good Day. Thank you it's very much. It's good to meet you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well